Hey, what is up YouTube? This is going to be a short little video demonstrating what an aftermarket torque converter does to your vehicle in regards to acceleration. But first, I wouldn't be able to make this video if it wasn't for my subscriber, Jack Graves. He's the one that offered me a good deal on this torque converter, and honestly, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even have this torque converter, nor be able to afford a regular one. I'm going to put his channel link in the description, so make sure you go check him out. Now, the part that I installed is a 26 to 2700 stall torque converter by TCI. A simple explanation of a higher stall torque converter is that it lets the engine get into the power band quicker, therefore making your car accelerate faster. Now this mod is common for people who have put a bigger camshaft in their engine. Uh, what that does is basically brings up the power band and the RPMs and so instead of having it start at maybe 2,000, 2,500 RPM, it'll be around 3,000, 3,500 RPM, maybe even 4,000 for the power band. So the downside of that is that your torque in your lower RPM range is going to decrease significantly, causing you to feel sluggish in the low RPMs. Now my truck is heavy. It's a crew cab, has a toolbox, all-terrain tires, moderately heavy wheels. So I mean, it's not going to set any land speed records. Now with that being said, let's look at the 0-60 to with the stock torque converter. You'll notice that the engine, uh, when applying the brakes, only goes up to 1500 RPM before accelerating. So you'll notice once I let off the brakes, the engine kind of struggles until it gets up to 3000 RPM. And that's where you can lose some of your time for your 0-60 to is in that period where the engine doesn't really make any of the power. So let's look at the aftermarket torque converter. Uh, right away you'll notice that it goes directly up to 2000 RPM. I could make it go higher, but in certain scenarios, it's just gonna create a lot of wheel spin. So I typically like to do it at 2000 RPM with this. But since it is a 2600 stall, what that means is it's a flash stall. So uh, it's about there, depending on the weight of the engine, how much horsepower you have. Uh, it's gonna be around 26, 2700 RPM. So once I let off the brake, it goes right up to 2600 RPM. And then it's obviously closer to the power band of 3000. So the engine is gonna struggle a lot less and be right in the power band right away, therefore giving you a quicker acceleration. And so it should give you a quicker zero to 60 time if you don't have much wheel spin and if you have traction. So I looked back and I did the math and with the aftermarket torque converter, it's about 0.5 to 0.6 seconds faster in the zero to 60, which in my opinion is really good considering I didn't add any horsepower or torque to the engine. So that makes the truck fall between 6.4, 6.5 seconds in the zero to 60, which in my opinion, it isn't too bad considering it is a truck and it weighs 5,600 pounds. So that's gonna conclude this video. I hope this helps you decide if you are willing to invest into an aftermarket torque converter. I know this truck is my test mule kind of. I mean, it's also my daily driver. So I'm taking a lot of risk doing these mods to the truck, but I'm here learning with you guys. So I'm willing to do that to teach you guys as well. And so uh, with that being said, I'm gonna be doing more videos as far as the gas mileage. Uh, if a torque converter affects the gas mileage, the drivability on a day-to-day -day basis with an aftermarket torque converter and all that. I'm here learning with y'all to give y'all the information. So if you have any further questions or you have any ideas for a video on the torque converter or anything with the truck, please let me know down in the comment section. And as always, I'll see y'all next video.